welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see, I'm eating nachos. And I need something to dip with nachos. Hmm, ketchup? No. Hmm, but it's related with nachos only. Hmm. I have a perfect idea. We should make a nacho, nacho, nacho dip. Yeah. So, guys, I took some nachos from the packet and put it inside the Ziploc bag because then you can then you can crush it how you can like with the hammer with your hand or with the rolling pin so this is going to be our base of our natural step so i'm going to crush it but at this time i'm not going to doom 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 like it did in that oreo shaky do you remember guys if you haven't watched that video go pause this video and go watch it i mean watch it right now so i will crush it and insert put it into a bowl and so guys now i'm going to crush this is my favorite guys this is my favorite part i love to crush stuff So guys, after crushing, I put it in the bowl. Now we have put all the ingredients. So guys, as you, I told you, this is my nacho, crushed nacho. So I have a spoon and let's put the ingredients one by one. First is the corn. So that next is the bell pepper, green bell pepper. And and third guy is the mayonnaise. Just put one spoon. Why is this so hard? Yeah, one more spoon. One, two spoons. Total two spoons. Now let's put the rest of the ingredients. And now it's ketchup. One more. That's it. And now as I told you before mixture oregano chili flakes bell pepper i mean not bell pepper black pepper and white salt let's put all these four mixtures in together here we go and now let's mix it mixing mixing so guys i'm mixing it mixing it mixing it so guys i'm mixing it and i think it looking good what do you guys think so guys if you leave it with this for a while it it will get so soggy and you won't able to eat it so it's better you should eat fast make a fresh one and consume it because it will get soggy if you leave it for so guys, I am done mixing. Now it's time for the tasting part. Let me taste. Mmm, good. Now I got some nachos, and now let's do the painting. Like this, guys. My plating is done and just ignore the background voice because so much construction is going on. But now I I have done my plating and let's take a big nacho and put it. 
Is it coming out or what? Uh, fine, guys. So I put two spoons of the nacho stick, and now it's fun time tasting part. Hmm. Mmm. It's so good. So guys, if you enjoyed my nacho dip, then please try it at home. And so like, share, and subscribe for now. Bye. Bye. And this is my full nacho dip. Bye bye.